All right. So I'm working on this painting today. I am trying to see if watercolor will stick to canvas. So I painted this Bible verse months ago and um, have just kind of been waiting for some ideas of what to do, something to pop into my mind. And today I was thinking, I'm going to try watercolor on canvas and see if it'll stick. Um, so I started with this, um, this color here. Um, this is called, what are they? Crafts for All. So I don't think that this is like some kind of high quality paint or anything, but my sweet husband got it for me for Christmas. Um, and I have not done watercolor very much. He got me a book and everything so that, that way I could kind of learn how to do it. Um, so, but I, I've just, I am not a book person. Whoops, my camera's falling. Okay. Um, so... I just try and figure it out as I go. So that's what I did this morning was just grabbed a paint color, drew some quick mountains on there, and I'm just going to keep on going after it and seeing how the, it turns out. So far, I really like the way it looks. Um, watercolor on canvas. I guess we'll see if it sticks. I'm going to um, probably see how it goes for a bit and then uh, just... Yeah, I don't know. I really like it, though. I like the way that it's turning out and how it's got the um, different shades. Super easy to blend on canvas when I've done watercolor on paper um, when I was really trying to figure it out. Um, it, it wasn't as easy for me to blend. It soaked in real quick. So I don't know if the watercolor will even adhere to this the way that it should but um I could probably watch some videos and learn <laughs> but I don't want to I just want to figure it out on my own and um have fun with it and be okay with however it turns out um but if it turns out nice and it it adheres the way that I think it should like in a quality way um I'll sell it on my Etsy shop and and see see if anybody snags it i've been selling on etsy for years um i'm thankful for the the opportunity to sell my paintings on there uh, it's a good place for crafts i like that about etsy there are some things i don't really like about etsy but that's okay everybody's got their opinions um, so basically what I'm doing with the watercolor right now, you can tell I'm just like here on my, my fancy plate, I put some watercolor paint right here. And then as I want to, um, thin it out a bit, I just dip it in my fancy Dixie cup. See, I got all the right tools. I Googled it and I asked Google, what do I use? And it says a kid's plate and a Dixie cup. Um, so dip it in the water and it'll thin it out. And then you can kind of see as, as I'm going along, I'm trying to make it lighter on the bottom. So here's my thick parts. Here's my darker parts up at the top. And then I want to make it look kind of like the misty mountains. So I want it to thin out on the bottom. You can see that there. So I'm going to do that with this color as well. And that'll just take a little bit more water. Um, and adding it adding it in as we go but like I'm not sure if it translates on the video yet but as I add that water it just smooths it out like it's really easy and on the canvas it catches the water too so it's not bleeding into the other colors but I think that's part of why watercolor is nice because you can make it bleed into the other and it, oh, it is, it is, it's blending. Never mind, it's blending and bleeding. <laughs> um, but I think that's why I do like watercolor. It's like, even though it does blend and bleed like that, it looks nice. It looks intentional. So, yeah, see, you can kind of see I lightened it up right there. And it's darker right here. I could even go darker on the tips, which I probably, I'll just do that now. 
So it's really really noticeable. So my friend from church gave me her mom's old calligraphy set and I've never been able to watch a video. I just can't bring myself to watch the video on how to make that. The calligraphy pens work. They're the old school type of calligraphy pens where you um, dip in the, the ink. Um, so it's an art form. Her mom was really good at it and she trusted me with, with this set. And so I keep practicing at it and it's, um, it's a lot of fun, but it is difficult, and it's not easy to master. Um, like, it takes a lot of work. She gave it to me probably two years ago, and I still, I mean, I should just watch a video, but I just can't bring myself to do it because I'm just like, I can figure it out. Um, <laughs> and that's kind of how I feel about the watercolor, too. It's like, I can figure it out. I can do this. And it's just fun kind of along the way. Um, I think I said in one of my earlier videos how I started with um, learning lettering. I never watched a video. I just um, picked up my paintbrush and and started. And um, all I had was this thin line uh, paintbrush, just really thin tip. And I had to learn how to paint on canvas with this really thin paintbrush. Um, and I had a lot where I messed up and it just looked awful. And I was like, oh my goodness, this is terrible. And I'm never gonna get it. <laughs> and I mean, I still could do a lot um, better, but I mean, it just takes practice. And being okay with failing and just picking it up again the next day. And I remember whenever I had little ones, little, little ones. Um, and so they're always at the table with me. Just that's, that's our life. They're always at the table. God bless them. I'm so thankful. Um, but they would, whenever I'd start painting, it was like, I don't know what it was, but every time mama picked out the paintbrush, they would be hitting their little hands on the table. And, um, <laughs> it's like, there were so many paintings that I was just like, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and paint this whole canvas blue or black or whatever and try again because it got, it would have little smudges and, and, you know, my hand would go like that. And when I was painting with my lettering, you know, I just go really slow and have to work really hard at, at smooth lines. And <laughs> so there was a while where I thought I should just give up, you know, I'll never be out of this season with, with little ones and they're always at the table with me. So I don't know if I can keep painting, but I did. And now I have big ones and little ones and God grew me for sure in that season where it's just like, be patient with them, lead them gently like God leads us gently with young so I'm glad I didn't give up but okay I'm gonna show you I hear my baby crying so I'm gonna show you up close what it looks like and I'll do a short in a little bit and um, show you the updated version but so far it's looking okay I like it we'll see if it holds so thanks for coming along guys <laughs> 